everybody, welcome back to the Soapy Cauldron. Tonight I'm excited because I'm making a collaboration soap. This is going to be a soap based on the Hogwarts Express and it's my contribution to a collaboration with two other shops on Etsy. I am doing this with Simply Ash Shop and also with the Witty Hufflepuff. We have each put up a Hogwarts Express themed item and I hope you like it. Okay, if you have been around for any soap tutorials at all, mine or anybody else's, you know the first thing that you have to start with is oil and lye and water. And what you do is you pour your lye water into your oils and then you can stir it by hand if you have a lot of muscle strength or a lot of time on your hands or you can use a stick blender to stir it all up. Now for this soap, I'm going to have frosting, which is where I build the soap up and it looks almost like frosting on top. So I'm going to pour off in this little container two cups of frosting and that'll be what I use to pipe the top of the soap. Okay, and I'm just going to set this off to the side to let it start to harden into soap frosting. Now to here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to turn this red. Not always does the colors that I go for turn out, but I'm going to be using Firecracker Mica from Nurture Soap, and I'm also going to be using this Wine Red Mica from Atom Tech. And the goal of this is to get this soap batter the color of the Hogwarts Express. The Hogwarts Express train is more of a crimson than a red. And the first thing I'm going to do is put all of the rest of this into here. It's not going to be very much, but it is a deeper red than I have. And then I'm going to put a, a half a teaspoon of the firecracker. And then I'm going to stick blend it together and see what color we are looking at. I don't really mind as long as it's in the red family and it's not pink. I'm very happy with this color, so I'm just going to scrape off my stick blender a little bit. And then I'm gonna pour the fragrance oil in here. The fragrance oil I'm using is called Teakwood and Cardamom. It is from Nature's Garden and it's also the same scent that I put in the Hufflepuff inspired soap. So if you like that soap, you're going to like this one. It's just a good neutral scent. I really, really enjoy it. And I thought it would complement the Hogwarts Express nicely. Okay, the object of this is that I'm going to lay about half of the soap batter in here because uh, yesterday I took a piece of um, honestly PVC pipe and I made uh, an embed with it. I made a large soap embed and I'm gonna stick it in the middle because this is going to be the round piece that you see that's black like the engine and the red is gonna represent um, the train itself and then the frosting is gonna be smoke coming out of the um, I don't want to say chimney because I don't think that's right, but it's going to be coming out of the engine. And then I have a stamp to represent um, plat platform nine and three quarters. So we're going to let this set up for a minute because when I drop this in, I don't want it to go all the way to the bottom. So we're going to let this set up for a minute and then I'm going to put this in. I'm back to attempt failure probably, but here goes nothing. The only thing is I just don't want this to sink directly to the bottom because it is a little heavy and I am fearful that it's going to sink straight down, but no, that's not gonna work. Let's see if I can do it sideways. Just don't wanna drop it, cause I know, oh, it's slipping. Oh, good. It did not fall straight to the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to lift it up a little bit, and then we're gonna pour the rest of the soap on top. But I pour the rest of the batter on top. 
like this. It's really nice to not have to worry about something dripping into, you know, another layer. When I make stripes, I'm really bad about my stripes dripping into other layers. I'm also really bad about making messes. <laughs> All right, let's tap this down, just kind of bounce it in place, even out the top and get set up for the soap frosting. Alrighty, we are gonna frost this soap. The idea here is just to make it look like clouds. That's really all we want. And I don't know if I chose the right tip for cloud making or not, but we are committed at this point. And it is what it is. So remember, this is supposed to look like the steam at the top, whoa, at the top of the, I'll have to Google what the top of that thing on a train is, because I don't know, clearly, because I keep saying at the top of the something. Smokestack, is that a word? It's a word, but is that what it's called? I don't know. I bet my son would know. My son was into a Thomas the Train phase for a while. So he would probably know exactly what that piece is called that I'm trying to explain. Because I don't, I don't have a clue. Okay, so close. Alright, so now we got our clouds on top. I got a little more soap frosted. Let's see. Nice, billowy clouds. All right, clouds are done. Pretty, excited. And then I'm gonna hit it with some Fairy Dust Sparkle Plenty from Mad Micah's. This is just gonna make it kind of shiny and glossy. Let's see, I'll do it this way so y'all can see. It just gives it like a nice little shiny sheen to it. It's really pretty. Okay, and that is it. We're gonna cut it um, after it hardens. So about 18 to 24 hours, and then we're gonna come cut it, and then I have a nice stamp for it. So stick around in like three, two, one. Okie doke, let's cut some sip. We're gonna cut off an end piece. Okay. Looks good, I like that center circle in there. We are actually making 12 of these bars. I'm gonna cut them a little bit smaller than I typically cut them, because we're making 12. So here's one. And then we're gonna have um, a stamp that I'm gonna put on them. Two. They are cute, cute, cute. All right, I'm gonna keep on stamping because you know they're all gonna be the same. I mean, cutting. I'm gonna keep on cutting, but I'm going to cut to the stamping. All right, so I'm going to use this Sparkle Dust Gold Mica and put a little bit on this plate, or a lot. <laughs> and I'm gonna shake it out to kind of spread it out. And then I have a soap stamp right here that Rockin' Roberts made me. It says nine and three quarters. And I'm gonna dip it in the mica, get it coated really well. Tap off the excess. And then I'm going to stamp this directly on to our soap. It's very soft, so I'm just gonna press super lightly. And there we have it a nine and three quarters soap.